हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर प्रीति माथुर एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जोलॉजी एस पी सी गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज अजमेर माई ई मेल एड्रेस इज गिवन बिलो एंड नाउ टूडे स्टूडेंट्स वील डिस्कस अबाउट एस्टूरीज विच इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ माई लेक्चर एस्टूरीज पार्ट टू इज रिटर्न हेयर आई वुड लाइक टू रिपीट my previous lecture that was about uh, estuaries some points i'll repeat what are estuaries again an estuary is a partially enclosed body of water along the coast where fresh water from rivers and streams meets and mixes with salt water from the ocean estuaries and the lands surrounding them are places of transition from land to sea and fresh water to salt water although influenced by the tides they are protected from the full force of ocean waves winds and storms by such landforms as barrier islands or peninsulas now students previous videos mein maine pichle apne lecture mein aapko bataya tha productivity ke bare mein estuarine mein kis tarah se productivity hoti hai aur what are they like i showed you the pictures also regarding uh, how they look like and then the different types of estuaries the first one was coastal plain estuaries जिसमें आपने देखा किस तरह से लैंडफॉर्म्स नज़र आती हैं और वो किस तरह से एस्टोरीज का फॉर्मेशन होता है एंड देन टेक्टोनिक एस्टोरीज उसमें एस्टोरीज जो है नीचे स्क्वायर शेप की हो जाती है फ्लैट होती है नीचे से बिल्कुल एस्टोरीज और किस तरह से दो ए और भी दो पोर्शंस होते हैं उसके उनके बीच में वो एस्टोरी बन जाती है देन द नेक्स्ट वन वॉज बार बिल्ड एस्टोरीज फ्राम विच शेलो लगूंस और बेज प्रोटेक्टेड फ्राम the ocean by a sandbar or barrier island which intro introduces inside the sea and it is a piece of land which covers and there is uh, fjords or u shaped valleys ye bataya tha maine aapko chautha type so these were the four types which i showed you in my last lecture now what is the biological importance we i would like to discuss with your students about the biological importance and this biological importance it contains thousands of species of birds mammals fish and other wildlife they all depend on estuarine habitats as places to live to feed and to reproduce and many marine organisms including most commercially important species of fish depend on estuaries at some point during their development because they are biologically productive estuaries they provide ideal areas for migratory birds to rest and refuel during their long journeys because many species of fish and wildlife rely on the sheltered waters of estuaries as protected spawning places estuaries are often called the nurseries of the seas what are they called the nurseries of the sea now estuaries have important commercial value and their resources provide economic benefits for tourism fisheries and recreational activities the protected coastal waters of estuaries also support important public infrastructure serving as harbors and ports vital for shipping and transportation other functions estuaries also perform other valuable services like water draining from uplands 
carries sediments, nutrients and other pollutants to estuaries as the water flows through wetlands such as swamps and salt marshes. Much of the sediments and pollutants are filtered out. This filtration process creates cleaner and clearer water which benefits both people and marine life. Wetland plants and soils also act as natural buffers between the land and ocean, absorbing flood waters and dissipating storm surges or tsunamis. This protects upland habitat as well as valuable real estate from storm and flood damage. Salt marsh, grasses and other estuarine plants also help. Now what are the impacts? The coastal countries are growing three times faster than countries elsewhere in the nation. Unfortunately, this increasing concentration of people upsets the natural balance of estuarine ecosystems, threatens their integrity and imposes increased pressures on vital natural resources like estuaries. What happens on the land affects the quality of the water and health of the organisms that live in an estuary. For example, if a river or stream flows through an agricultural area, it picks up fertilizer, manure and pesticides from farming operations that run off the land after a rainstorm. As it passes urbanized and suburbanized areas, it gathers fertilizers or pet waste that wash off lawns, untreated sewage from failing septic tanks, wastewater discharges from industrial facilities, sediment from construction sites and runoff from impervious surfaces like parking lots. Mm. Now students, you see this picture. Let's protect our estuaries in this way. If you do plantation estuaries, they can be protected to a great extent. Now, I stop here only students. I end my lecture and I hope we'll meet again soon. I thank you for patiently hearing me students and so be tuned. My name is Dr. Preeti Mathur, Associate Professor, Department of Zoology, SBC Government College, Ajmer. Thank you.